Yay! Yay! And we're live. We are live. Look at this. Is this crazy? Episode one, you guys. Episode one of Bubble Talk. And this is my beautiful guest, Chelsea Hello. Dawson. Mm, thanks for Cheers, having me. Cheers, Chelsea. Cheers. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> and joining me today. Chelsea is mom numero dos, number two, that I'm interviewing for five days, five moms, counting down to Sunday, where I'm going to get to interview my mom in San Antonio. So I'm so Aww. excited. Chelsea's That's number great. two, and I'm going to let Chelsea introduce herself. So Chelsea, tell us about you. Sure. Um, my name is Chelsea Dawson. I'm a loan officer uh, with Home Trust Mortgage. I'm from the humble Atascacita area, born and raised. And um, I'm an Aggie, married to my husband that I met at AM. And um, I have a daughter. We just had a daughter. She's nine months old. So, first time mom, working mom. And um, it's hard, but it's so rewarding. We love her so much. What is and your daughter's name? Stella. Um, Stella. Yeah, Stella Bell. Stella Bell is her real name. Um, my is my great my great grandmother's name That's a was Stella. Name. Yeah. I, what's crazy is that I picked out the name Stella first, and then my grandmother told me, "Well, my mom's name was Stella." I'm like, "No way." So, anyways, it was just meant to be that her name was Stella. And I love Stella McCartney. <laughs> I love the designer Stella McCartney. Yeah. She's amazing. Hey, Joe, how are you? Hey, Antoine Crosby, how are you? Oh, Antoine always watches. How are you doing, <laughs> you guys? Look, I have to look down to see. Okay, so the camera's up here. So if I keep looking down, it's at, I'm trying to read who's here and who's not here and who's watching. Hi, Mom. That's my mom, Mary Helen Martinez. Oh, Hi, hello. look at me. We're only 46 <laughs> minutes late. So you shouldn't be upset. Usually it's like an hour or two. You know, these eyelashes, they take a long time. Anyway, so Chelsea, today <laughs> yes. we are going to talk about talking mom style. Yes. So now that you just had a baby, mm -hmm. so exciting, when they're so <laughs> tiny and so cute. Tell me a little bit about when you're going, let's start with work. Let's talk about mom style going to work. Like what, what is like your daily routine like getting ready and what type of style, what type of clothes do you prefer when you're going to work? Well, uh, right after I had my baby, uh, Hurricane Harvey hit. I had a newborn and Hurricane Harvey came in and flooded my office with five feet of water. And so I um, didn't have an office to go to, actually. And my new office just now opened up. So I've been working from home um, for the past, I guess, like eight months now. And so what I wear when I'm not going to closing <laughs> and stuff has uh, varied quite or is quite different than, you know, when I'm used to going to the office every day. Um, but my favorite thing that I've been wearing the most is LuLaRoe. I've never heard of it until recently. My friend started selling it. And I, I, the shirt just happens to be a LuLaRoe. Um, LuLaRoe. Yeah. Yes. LuLaRoe. Interesting. And, um, but she's like a, a LuLaRoe retailer. She's one of my best friends. And so I, at first I was just, you know, I want to support her and her business, but I really love it because it's, you know, it's conservative, it's covering, but it's really cute, fun uh, prints and kind of loose fitting. So it's um, forgiving on your transition, you know, my transitioning body after having a baby. I'm, I'm trying to get back into shape. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> To be 28 again and have babies, like <laughs> seriously. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You look great. Well, thank you. So we, we didn't get that website, but if you'll mention that again and spell it out for um, any of our I viewers out there. I don't know if you can buy it on, well, I, my friend actually just sells it on Facebook. Um, her, her name is Skylar. I don't know if she's watching, um, but yeah, she, she has like an in-home store. You can also buy it through her Facebook page. Awesome. And um, yeah, I just love it. It's so comfortable, conservative Ooh. and like fun. Friends. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> That's been my go-to since becoming a mom. So. Very interesting. Very, <laughs> yeah. very good. Hey, I want to say hi to a few people. Randall Chestnut. Hey, guys. Oh, he says, looking amazing. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Kelly Williams. Hi, how are you? Joe Orsak, how are you? I know I have to bend down. I need glasses or I need a big screen I know. It's hard not to look something. there. And look yeah, I know you guys are out there. Listen, so as part of someone asked me today, like bubble talk, like, I don't get it. Are you just like drinking champagne all the time or you're not in the woodlands? Now you're in like Kingwood and you're at spoken about. So bubble talk for me is just not, you know, I make reference to the woodlands because I live there and I've lived there for 10 years. Right. And they call it the bubble. Yeah. 
But really what bubble is, is if you've ever seen any type of animated cartoon where they have the bubble above the brain. Yeah, okay. So I'm a thinker, I'm a processor and people who really know me know that about me. And I love thinking outside of the bubble, not the norm. I'm not your normal 50 year old. I don't dress like a normal 50 year old. I mean, is there a normal 50 year old? <laughs> I mean, is there some, I don't know. So I've always kind of been outside of that bubble. So my thoughts are in the bubble. So bubble talk is my kind of perspective on fitness, on fashion and on lifestyle. So stretcherlifestyle.com is one of my babies that I've created here recently. And like all this stuff has happened. And so I thought, you know, let's just sit around, talk about lifestyle and fitness and fashion and call yeah. it bubble talk yeah. and then drink bubbles yeah i, thought, I mean that's a life right I thought <laughs> bubble meant like your personality is bubbly oh oh chelsea <laughs> <was> dawson <laughs> she's creative yeah let's add that let's add that let's add that and she's a bubbly yeah. i like that thank you i appreciate yeah. that <laughs> okay so let's talk about some more about being a mom what is like tell me a little bit about your uh upbringing and what your mom meant to you? Well, my mom is also a loan officer and she was also a working mom. Um, and definitely she was a very hard worker. Didn't work. Um, so my mom was I always looked up to her and from, you know, um, she didn't come from, all, and, you know, she made a lot of herself just by working. Um, what got me into the mortgage business and do you think that's what affected like your your thick and your yeah, ambition and it is having that role model yeah, yeah and do you guys have plans do you have like mother's day traditions that you like to do or something that you have planned um, or since you're a new mom this is a whole new yeah. no, like your I first was, mom's I was day thinking, i was thinking about that like oh my gosh this is my first actual mother's day and no we really don't have any traditions actually uh and i was thinking you know what do i want for mother's day and i think the number one thing that i want is to be able to sleep in <laughs> be able to sleep in for once and like yes. my husband just She's take the baby let me sleep <laughs> in and my but the next thing that i want is a king size bed because right now we only have a queen and sometimes you know the baby we can't like get the baby to go back oh to sleep. i so did we that put bad the baby habit. in the bed with us and my husband he's a big guy and it's just there's <laughs> really no there's no room for a baby <laughs> and there, so we need we need a king size bigger bed so bigger bed yeah i want a, a bigger bed and i want to be able to sleep in on it yeah, yeah. Let me give you, can I give you some recommendations? We, yeah. let me tell you, Chelsea and I actually just met today. This is not like <laughs> a long term friendship. I'm excited to be yeah. her friend. And I'm so <laughs> glad that she accepted my invitation to be on my show as my number two mom. So I'm excited about it. Um, so here's my suggestion start a tradition. Really, really important. This is your family. You are the queen of the house. Um, start something, start something. It doesn't have to be like anybody else. Go home, talk to your hubby about it. I mean, Stella's little at nine months. She's not going to really know what you're saying, <laughs> but you, but you can start your tradition. Yeah. And then because of social media and the new age, I would videotape, videotape. I wish, and I was thinking about that this morning, I had more videos of my mom's mom. Um, a lot of you out there don't know my real name and I'm not going to say it cause you're going to die laughing and probably pee on yourself. But my grandmother, I'm just going to say it. Should I say it? Ben says he, he, Ben Burner is here. He is my, my new audio visual guy. He was my dance student, by the way. Really? Ben was. Yeah. For years. Wow. So, okay. I'm going to say it one time. If you, if you miss it, it's your fault. <laughs> Chelsea's laughing okay. already. My real name is Bertha. Boom, never saying it again. I you know. Anyway, I um, picture you when I picture the name Bertha. Listen, my grandmother <laughs> and my middle name's Jane. I was named after both my grandmothers who are both gone, but the most beautiful human beings. And I'm not just saying in beauty, they were beautiful. My, um, they're just, I was telling my mom this morning, I wish I had a videotape so people could see why I am so resilient, why I am the way I am because of two people, my mother and my grandmother. I mean, my grandmother was 62 when we lost her to breast cancer. And I remember the very last Mother's Day and my mom and I talked about it, that my aunt, who's not no longer with us either, um, had 
the mariachis come because I am from Mexican American descent from Mexico. And today is La Dia de los Madres, which means um, Happy Mother's Day on May 10th. That's when we celebrate it in Mexico. So Happy Mother's Day to all the Hispanic Mexican mommies out there. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day. We celebrate it on Thursday. In America, we celebrate it this weekend. So I was born in the United States. And so we celebrate this weekend. So anyway, I remember my I was 12 years old. And my mom said, do you remember grandma's last Mother's Day? And I do. They have mariachis come and sing Los Mañanitas to my grandmother. And she cried. Mm -hmm. Try not to think about it. <laughs> so I remember that. And um, She's amazing, amazing. And I know she is shining down on me. So that's why I am incredibly strong. And I'm crying like a baby. So that does make me very strong. <laughs> and Aww. Ben's laughing at me because I used to beat their butts in the competition. These <laughs> kids were my competition kids. Aww. They never saw me cry. So do not ever tell anybody I was crying. Anyway, so yeah, she was an amazing woman. And I was just blessed to be named after her. So Aww. let's talk to some people here. Hey, Samantha, how are you? Are you in LA? Hey, Marsha, how are you? You guys doing okay tonight? Let's see who else is here. I saw my mom there earlier. So we have a, we have seven people watching. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We're so, I'm just so excited to be here. This is actually, even though it says episode one, this was kind of dress rehearsal for us because it has been a long time coming. This has been, someone asked me today, Tony, what, what, how would we describe you? And I'm like, mm. so um, we look at you like a hyper influencer. And I go, okay, every day I get, yesterday, Marsha, she compared me to a roto rooter. And today I, I was, I was called a hyper influencer. So what, exactly what is a hyper influencer? And they said, it's someone who's moving very, very fast. You're gaining a lot of notoriety, a lot of followers. You're starting this brand and it's just, it's explode. It's, yeah. It's, imploding actually it's just exploding into this you know wave of interest because you're different mm -hmm. and so all we ask and um, i had two marketing companies reach out to me and a clothing line today who said mm -hmm. we just ask that you stay authentic and stay who you are because we think you're hilarious and i'm like that's good because i think i'm hilarious <laughs> i make myself laugh by myself all the time so that's good so i'm trying to like just enjoy the moment enjoy the process um, it's weird. I just can't explain it. It's just happening so quick. So I'm so excited, Chelsea, that you're here because let me tell you something. This is the new perspective. She's 28 years old, nine month old baby, mm -hmm. a working mom. Tell me how you get through your day when you feel like I cannot get through another closing. I can't. What? It, uh, uh, like, what do you think about how, what? How do you get through it? Um, I try to be thankful whenever, um, whenever I feel like the, the days are long or it's, I'm, um, feeling sorry for myself or I don't know, telling myself that it's hard. Mm -hmm. Um, I think when you tell yourself that something is hard, it makes it harder. So instead of telling yourself it's hard, be thankful. I'm, I'm thankful that my job gives me the flexibility to, um, you know, go home and feed my baby and go back to the office or go to the closing and, and that kind of thing. So I guess thankful is definitely the word. Um, now, if so. people wanted to reach out to, to you, Chelsea, first tell them why they should come to you for their home loans or why real estate agents or anyone that's wanting to be pre-qualified before purchasing a home, why they would be coming to you versus the thousands people in your industry yeah um well I so, so all I do is always and um I guess I just you get me uh, to the bank you know you might get us might be in another they have in-house processing I'm always going to be there for you you have any questions throughout this me I have an app that you can go and you can text me even late at night I'm always working um and so, yeah. So let's give them your website. Yeah. My website is homeloansbychelsea.com. That's where you can go and find me and where you can go and submit an application if you're looking to get pre approved. Um, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So I want to ask real quick, and I'm going to leave that up for a little bit so our viewers can make notation of that. And if you need anything in the home loan industry, Chelsea Dawson, yeah, she's your girl. <laughs> um, so, 
I'm going to jump right in because, you know, I think like a marketer and I think outside the box and the mm -hmm. bubble. Um, what do you do for exercise? Like how you said you're like in transition, your body's in transition. What are you doing to get fit again post baby? Um, I have a personal trainer. His name is Logan. Um, in the humble area, it's Loganitis training and it's like boot camp style, small boot camp style. And for me, if I'm going to work out, I'm going to spend, if I can actually get away from the baby for an hour in the evening, I'm not going to go do yoga or something. I'm going to do something that really kicks my butt and burns the most calories. And I'm going to make that time count. And so I do, um, the boot camp with, uh, Logan, my personal trainer. And I love it so much fun, even though it's painful sometimes. <laughs> but, but yeah, I actually, these are my jeans that I. Um, Girl, I don't even know what she's talking baby. about. <laughs> so they are a little snug. She's still. trying to get to a toothpick <laughs> size because she's already a little. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to go to Joe Orsak. He has a question for you. So do you work with school teachers? I do. Joe knows about this. Yes, I do. Um, I have a grant program for teachers. So if you know any teachers, um, we offer grants up to 5% that will cover their down payment. So um, right now, the, the minimum down payment on wow. a conventional loan is just 3%. So if you get a 5% grant, it's going to totally cover your down payment and the rest can go towards your closing costs. So it's a really great deal if you know any teachers out there. That's um, awesome because you know with National them. Teacher Day. Oh yeah. Well, and the nurses were, isn't it nurses? Isn't it, isn't something? a national, um, drink your wine day or <laughs> national bubble day? Yeah, yeah. we can. I, I think mean, so. We, we can think name we should it toast that. to that. Cheers. Joe says that's a clinkable. If you follow the wine, no wine show, that's a good clinkable moment. So we're clinking. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I need to follow that show. Okay. Let's see. Get with the happy hour. <laughs> Steve Williams. <laughs> How are you, Steve? Oh, he said, if I was there, I'd be really hilarious. Steve is really hilarious. We are together quite often on the Wine No Mancho. He's a fellow grapehead. Hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, I'm going to skim through these. You guys, if you have any questions, please just hone in. Hi, I'm here. We are watching from Holotus, Texas. That's my mommy. Hi. Hey, mama. Hey, chime in, mom, if you want to say anything. Did you see me crying? I'm sorry I lost it. I was not strong enough to resist, unfortunately. <laughs> um, Antoine Crosby always watches. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so real quick, I want to give my take now. My mom's always like, I want to hear more about your perspective now that you've turned 50, blah, blah, blah. Really? Do we have to keep saying that? I feel like we should just put a big five zero behind me all the time. But anyway, I'm actually really proud of the number. Like a lot of people are just like back in the day, it was very taboo to. Okay, awesome. Um, very taboo to say your age. And it's not, um, what did my mom say? Oh, it's not nice to ask a woman's age. You know, that kind of, you know, times have changed. Yeah, I own it. I run this joint. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I really, I really love um, kind of defying it. I love defying the age process. And I, and you know, my sister said you've got to tell people that you just didn't wake up like this. That it's really a process. So I'm going to talk about it. And she's right. I'm very, very cautious. Besides this, about what I put in my body. I eat really healthy. I meal prep every Sunday. You know, twenty something meals a week. I'm very careful when I go out to eat that I'm not eating in abundance. I'm not saying that I don't have the occasional great chocolate cake. Or chips and queso. <sighs> chips and queso, the salty, <laughs> crunchy. If I even hear the sound, it's like a champagne bottle popping for me. I'm like, huh, squirrel. Okay, where's the chips? Where's the champagne? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay what do so you do to work out? I'm going to you... tell you. Okay. Stretchyourlifestyle.com. For 35 years, I have been stretching competitive dancers. Ben Burner, who's here, is one of my former competition team members. He's now in college in Baylor studying mm -hmm. film. Um, I am relentless. Like every morning, my son can tell you, I stretch. I have a 16-year-old at home. I stretch for at least 45 minutes. I run at least three miles every day. I teach dance on Mondays and Wednesdays, at least five and a half hours, but not a day goes by that I don't do a full body workout from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. And it's complete stretching and breathing. And that is the key word, oxygenating my muscles. So like your skin, by the way, loses elasticity as you get older. And people said, I look at your arms and they're like 28 year old arms. Like, I don't get it. And I'm I like, your arms look better than my arms. <laughs> 
You know, it's about when you're stretching, really breathing, really inhaling deeply, exhaling. Oxygenating muscle has been linked to um, good, proper circulation of the blood. So, which eradicates a um, abnormal cell, which if you keep going further and further can cause cancer. And there's all these other things with abnormal cells and diabetes and other issues that come from having abnormal cells in your body. Cause they're just like radical, right? They're all over your body and they're just waiting for something to get hold of them. So I don't want any of those things in my body. So I inhale, exhale as I'm stretching, I really pull on my ligaments and my muscles. So the best way that I can describe it is if you ever go to the grocery store, do you see people pushing the cart? Yeah. My son and I have this game where we try to guess people's ages. Probably not very nice, but we, by the way, they push the cart. Like from we see people like, the yeah, they're like hunched down. They're like this or like a little perky 12 year old. She's like hopping around. You know, you can tell by people's gait how old they are. And so I told Thomas, if you, I'm going to go way ahead of you. You watch me and tell me if you can tell how old I am because my, I never can tell how old you are because <laughs> I can't tell because I said, well, it's, it's the way you hold yourself up. It's your spinal alignment. It's the proper muscle um, conditioning of keeping your spine straight from all the stretching. So for me, it's stretching. I sell my videos on www.stretchyourlifestyle.com. So I have a really cool offer. I usually sell it for $147 and I know that's a lot, but it comes with 13 videos that you can look at all day long from any device in any part of the world. And a lot of people don't realize that we don't sell the CDs anymore, right? So you can download it into any of your devices today until Mother's Day. It is $80. Not only do you get those 13 videos, you get four more free videos. So it's 17 videos and 10 videos for improving your self-confidence. Because I really think success in life, period, comes from how confident you are. And then health, good health comes from the stretching. So you're getting like twofold, an incredible deal, $80 a month. Please people invest in your flexibility, invest in your health, invest in that special mom because you can buy her a shirt and we like shirts. We like clothes. <laughs> you can buy her some pretty earrings. We like pretty earrings, but this is something she can keep forever. She's not going to outgrow it. She's not going to lose it. It's going to be on her computer forever and ever. And it's something she can do every day. And it's a reminder that you have an investment in her long term health. And for me, that was really important in creating for like my family and my cousins and my friends and my mom, who's 77 out there and mm -hmm. does yoga three times a week and does crazy stretches. It would blow your mind. OK, so we've got some good questions here. Let's see. Somebody said, check out some good questions. Hey, Steve, you're in the house. Hmm? <laughs> Let's see what he said. So if you came across a veteran who is married to a teacher, is that a double advantage? Ooh, Steve Williams. Um, Go. Yes. Go. So you can use the grant program that I was talking about. You can use with a VA loan. You can pair it with any loan type. So with, with a VA loan, since VA loans are a no down payment loan, you don't have to make a down payment then the grant would go to cover your closing costs. So I've actually had veterans go to the closing table and get money back. Steve Williams, <laughs> I know where you live. Get in that car, <laughs> drive over here, yeah. meet yeah. Chelsea, <laughs> let Tony Rodriguez get you a house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's beautiful life. I know you guys are out there. Yeah, that's awesome. See, you learn, you're learning something. Yeah. You're learning about fitness. You're learning something about fashion. You're learning something about loans and loan origination and all of the wonderful things that Chelsea has to offer. You're learning how um, crazy and bubbly and <laughs> um, funny, I hope I am. Let's see. Are there any other questions out there for us? My mom says she thinks I'm hilarious. That's good, mom. That's good. I like that. Um, Marsha, she was my get my number one mom yesterday. So you have to get on Chelsea and follow me. Okay. And, yeah. and then tomorrow when I'm on with my next mom, you have to come in and chime in because then everybody will know who Chelsea Dawson is. So it's what time? Four o'clock? On Thursday. Uh, four o'clock on Thursday. Yeah, but tomorrow okay. I'll be on and I'm not going to say what time. Every day till Mother's Day. And there's yeah. Wendy Baker. Hey, Wendy Baker. How are you? I'm going to show her for a second. She is an attorney. I asked her to be on my show. 
She's got a crazy schedule. Her husband, Ronnie, runs the Black Walnut in the Woodlands. Ooh. She's got Brooke and Bridget, two girls that I have been training for a long time. And she, Wendy, I'm going to beg you. I would love for you to come on the show. She's bright. She's brilliant. She's smart. She's funny. She's hysterical. So hi, Wendy. Come be on the show with us. <laughs> so Chelsea, as we're closing, yes. tell me if there's anything that you'd like to say out there. Um, maybe talk to Stella because she's only nine months old, but maybe yeah. you could save this video and tell her one day, like I did this video when you were nine months old and this is what I first think about mother's you. Day. Yes. And think of, tell everyone your thoughts on your very first mother's day. What would you like to tell the people out there? I guess just how much life has changed. It definitely, I mean, I think about a year, a year, well, I guess I was pregnant a year ago. <laughs> so that was pretty different too, but life has just changed so much and I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful to have her and awesome. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> She's grateful and thankful. I also want to mention a few things, you guys. Um, thank you to everybody who watches faithfully and private messages me and tell, tells me how important all of this is to them because it is really, really important for me to get a positive message. I think we all could use a little positivity and a little humor every yeah. single day. Um, I did kind of forget to tell people that on Monday at one o'clock at the proper marketing company on Blossom Street, I'm working with the caffeinated girls, uh, the caffeinated show girls and the proceeds for that fashion show, it's only for realtors, but the proceeds for that fashion show go to the Depelchin Children's Home in Houston. And so that is like really, really important to me that people understand that I'm not just frivol frivolously out there, like just gaining notoriety, that there's a real mission for me. And um, I love teaching dance. Hello to everyone from the dance vault. Mm -hmm. You have my heart. I have dance vault love for all of you. Um, but I love striving to teach and encourage beautiful young women out there, working moms out there, all women of all ages from all ethnicities to keep pursuing what makes you truly happy and start living beyond your boundaries. So thank you everyone for watching today. Um, follow me on Instagram, Tony underscore Rodriguez one. Uh, follow my YouTube channel, please. It's just the beginning of mm -hmm. this beautiful process. I want to thank you, Chelsea Thanks for having Dawson, me. For, for showing up. Ben Burner, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Spoken about um, Randall Chestnut, Troy Hitt, uh, Joe Orsack. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support. All my friends and family out there, love you. And you guys, stay tuned. Yay. <laughs>